So you've got $400 to spend on a smartphone. You want a lot of features, but you also want some gaming performance. So what's the best $400 smartphone to buy? Well, I think it's the Redmi K20 Pro. So Redmi is the budget line from Xiaomi, and Xiaomi makes some really inexpensive good phones. The K20 Pro is no different. Now remember the Poco, Poco from, from last year, ran the 845, everyone was like, whoa, this is crazy. We haven't seen a successor yet to that device, but the K20 Pro is the spiritual successor in my mind, if you think about it. There are a lot of devices that have a lot of high-end features, and the Poco from last year brought us just the 845 processor. This year, the K20 Pro brings in a ton of features you will find from mid to high end. So let's start off with the most obvious one. It's got a full bezel-less display. Yes, that's right. No notches, no bezels, uh, all for how much? 400 bucks. Yes, that ended up $400. You're getting a device that has a lovely 6.39 inch display. It is a resolution 1080p by 2340. It's got no punch holes, none of that, no notches. It looks really, really good. I'm like, man, these guys went all out with this. And to top it off, you've got a pop-up camera. Yes, the camera pops up, it's nice, it's fast. The side, uh, side note of it, or the downside is that it doesn't have facial recognition with that camera, which is fine with me, because underneath that bezel-less display, you've got a, an optical fingerprint sensor, which is responsive as fast, fast. That is great. The fact that they threw that in there, to me, that's awesome. You know, you've got that, you don't need anything, and it makes the screen look great, good. When you're watching movies on this thing, it looks good. You're watching YouTube videos, watch more of our content, or you're looking at that wallpaper. You're thinking, I want that wallpaper. So use the link down below. We have that wallpaper showing Rogue fighting Captain Marvel. Go Rogue. But it looks good on this thing. Now you flip over to the back, you've got a 48 megapixel camera. Uh, that's the main sensor. That's the same half inch sensor in the OnePlus 7 Pro. Um, you've also got an eight megapixel telephoto and a 30 megapixel ultra wide. What do you get with those cameras? Again, think about the price point, 400 bucks. It's, it's good, it's good. I like what I see here. Uh, the wide angle is not as wide as I like, but it's fine, it still gives you more room to play with. Uh, the uh, the main sensor is really good, and they're using the same, I believe the same algorithm from the Mi 9, so it's really solid in terms of processing. Everything looks really sharp, looks vibrant. Look, I can't complain with the images I'm getting with this. Low light imagery is also good. Um, you know, it depends on the settings. It's got a night mode in there to that camera app, and and it does a good job in just giving you what you're looking for. Yes, it's not a Pixel 3a, but it's damn good for its price point and damn good for price points higher at even six or seven hundred dollars. I've seen some phones at seven hundred dollars that don't compare to this. That's just all I'm going to say. Camera's good. So the important part, we've got a Snapdragon 855 processor. Yes, you heard me right. The 855 processor that's in the Galaxy S10 Plus the OnePlus 7 Pro is also here in the Redmi K20 Pro. It's a $400 phone. Yes. And RAM starts at 6 gigs, goes to 8, storage starts at 64, goes to 256. Doesn't have a micro SD card slot. Damn, I wish you guys put that in there. But it looks so good when you're gaming with this. Games run so well, whether it's your... Uh, PUBG, you're playing some Asphalt 9, you're playing some Armored Tanks, uh, you're playing some, uh, some FIFA. All those games I mentioned looked really good on them and they ran well. No, no slowdowns, none of that stuff. Yes, this is not a gaming video, so no, guys, sorry. I didn't record this at 60 frames. I'm just showing you what you get. So, we're not even talking too much. I'm going to give you some gameplay so you guys can check out how good this actually happens.
Yep. Yeah, it's look, it's solid. It's solid. It played games really well. Um, and temperature wise, maximum was about 97 degrees Fahrenheit, which most devices, the Galaxy S10 did that to, even though 10 plus, even though it has, you know, the special cooling and everything. So it's solid. It's really good for your gaming. And that's one of the most important things I'm looking at in this video. So I can game for a while because I've got a performance with A55, I've got enough RAM, it's six gigs of RAM, bare minimum. And I've also got a big battery, 4,000 milliamp battery in here. Yes, a huge battery, USB Type-C charging with that too, plus a 27 watt charger, which means you're gonna get fast charging actually faster than Galaxy S10 Plus 2. So that's the kind of stuff that I like to see at a price point that, you know what, I'm cool with spending $400 on this device because I'm getting so much more than I ever bargained for. Now, it's only got a mono speaker, but that speaker at the back is, you know what, just take a listen. Right? Yeah, you saw that, right? 108 decibels on the speaker. It's pretty loud. It's a loud speaker. It might not be the, the finest sounding, but the audio quality for me came out really good. I like that. Really good speakers on here. You can't complain about that. That's something that a lot of gamers want. They want to see. People just want to watch stuff on their smartphone. When you're watching stuff, content, you've got that just full canvas there. Nothing blocking your view. That is just amazing. Plus there's a headphone jack and 24 uh, to a 24 bit DAC as well built in. So you're getting decent uh, audio quality off the headphone jack, but than actually most devices don't even have USB type C. So, pff, I mean, I could go on and on and on about things I like in this device. I'm just quite impressed that they stacked in all these things and it's not like they threw it in and it was cheap or didn't work well, step by step, you look at it, you look at the display, you're like, that's a good looking display. Fingerprint sensor is pretty fast. Pop-up camera works pretty well. Uh, the selfies on there, I forgot to talk about that quickly. Selfie images look really good, especially the Chinese device, usually they tend to put in a lot of beauty mode, but I'm, I was impressed that this actually kept it down to minimal. So I like that there. Uh, you know, you've got a three uh, camera lens system at the back that gives you 48, uh, a wide, a telephoto. You've also got a big battery, 855 processor, gaming. Whew. Look, the K20 Pro to me is probably the best phone at $400. Forget even just gaming, because it just covers all the gamut and it's not just a one trick pony. And I'm gonna put it out there, it's not the Pixel 3a, which yeah, it's a one trick pony. That's a camera, solid. And I'm not discounting that, but it doesn't do anything else well for me. This does it. Now the downside here is the software. It's running their own software, which as you can see is trying to be Apple-esque. It doesn't have an app launcher, app slider. You can of course install Nova Launcher, which is what I did. And boom, you're good to go. It does have a dark mode though, which is nice. And it's running Android 9. Now I got the Chinese variant, which didn't have the Google Play Store. So I had to side load that in, but after you're done with that, you're good to go. There is a Chinese global variant. Again, that starts also at $404. So there you have it guys. This is probably the best phone and best gaming phone at 400 bucks. You can't go wrong. So if you have any questions or any comments about the Redmi K20 Pro, let me know. I'll try to answer them for you. You can pick it up in different places. The UK, Amazon UK has it. In the US, you can't find it on Amazon. You can check AliExpress. Um, you can also check other places on the web. I'll probably put some links for you guys to see where you can buy it. But I am fully impressed with this device and you should too. So if you have not subscribed to our channel already, smash the subscribe button and hit the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. Don't forget to leave comments, guys. Thank you very much and always enjoy your end.